Hi, Edley Han here with Business Leaders Online. This is our second video and the title of this video is Three Things I Wish I Knew Before I Started My Own Business. And the first thing that I wish I knew before I started out is that it's a lot harder to get started and get established with your business than what I thought it would be. Like when I got started I thought it was going to be um, easy to find customers and after a while the referrals would be rolling in and um, you know the business would grow organically kind of straight away and um, that wasn't really the case I thought um, my work would fit around my life but in reality what happened was my life fit around my work especially for the first six months to a year um, you what you'll find is that a lot of the work you're doing is you know you're kind of building your brand and um, building credibility you're looking for people to give you a chance because you haven't got any experience and when you're working with the first one or two clients they might be paying you like four or five hundred euro each and that would be like a grand in a month and that's not really enough but then when you fast forward one year and you've got eight people on um, recurring payments of 200 a month so you're starting then with with a base of one six and then you could take on those two clients all of a sudden you're on 2400 a month which is enough to survive and it really comes down to the law of compounding which Albert Einstein called the eighth wonder of the world and that just really means that each incremental step that you take um, you'll be rewarded kind of more and more the more you invest into something the longer you're in it the more steps you've taken the higher the in incremental reward that you'll get from that will be so it's like starting out playing golf and betting a euro on the first hole um, and then doubling up two euro on the second hole four euro eight euro on on the fourth hole and just doubling up until you get to the 18 holes and um, what you'll find is after the ninth hole you'll be on 256 euro but on the 18th hole after the 18th hole you'll have made 131,000 euro so that's really the power of compounding and it just states that the longer that you stay in it the longer that you keep pushing forward the more money you'll make on the end so the work is front loaded and the benefit is um, rear loaded so you're going to get all the benefits at the end and you're going to get um, all these offshoots as well like other opportunities opportunities to speak where you could get five new customers you can write books you can write ebooks you'll become an authority in your field and the business will come in through the referrals you'll have all the testimonials so if you're chasing down a new customer you can say oh, I've worked with such and such in your industry we've had great success why don't you give them a call they can they've given me a written testimonial already so here it is or you could give them a call to find out a bit more and the other thing what I'd say about this is just the people in your life that are telling you to, to give up and get a job I mean you've really got to believe in yourself I don't know how many times I heard uh, you're wasting your time why don't you just go back and get a regular job like everybody else but um, you just got to keep believing in yourself pushing forward and believing in the law of compounding so there's like there's a huge cost if you spend six months and give up and then go back you've wasted that six months where you could have been making more money you know um, so yeah that's the first point the second point is it's selling not operations so when you start off you'll be doing everything yourself like you'll be going out sourcing the clients uh, building the websites or whatever doing all the work yourself but as you grow you realize that the hardest part of your job is to actually sell and since you're the owner you believe in the mission so much you're the best person to sell so that's where you're going to end up and then like there's loads of sites where you can outsource the menial jobs that are kind of lower than your hourly rate so like actually building the websites doing reports for customers all that you can outsource that on Upwork and um, focus on selling and the like couple of the best ways to sell would be to actually when you're just starting out go out with flyers introduce yourself to business owners because you're looking for someone to take a chance on you when you've got real, no real credibility in the market um, another way then would be cold calls just l writing out a list or getting someone on Upwork to do a list of a hundred businesses and phone numbers ringing them all up finding the ones that would be interested in your product and um, setting up a meeting with them it's important that you try to set up a meeting and don't try to sell them over the phone because once you get them to agree to a meeting you know that they're interested you know that they have the money and when you talk face to face with them it's a lot harder for them to say no and you're actually giving 
them something that adds a lot of value to their business so there's nothing shady about it you're you're benefiting them in the long run it's just hard to create that initial contact and get the ball rolling so that would be sales and one other great method of sales that I would find would be uh, networking events where all your target customers take a day off work and they all come together you get to know your industry you get to know um, people that are looking for your service and you might do uh, three to five sales per, per networking event and get them on recurring fees um, recurring monthly fees are a lot better than once off payment from a customer so if you look at all the best uh, business models they're all based on recurring fees like your phone bill television internet and that's the best way to make a successful business is re recurring revenue streams and the third way what I found is actually physical letters so I read a book called Selling to Win by Richard Denny where he states to make a list of your target customers and write a physical letter to them uh, basically saying that you'll be following up with them in a couple of days and then you follow up with them with the phone call and um, you'll, you'll find that a lot of them will agree to have a short meeting with you and you will, you will increase your sales a lot through that. So that would be the second point, it's selling not operations. And then the third point quickly would be um, the service that you provide is absolutely key. You've got to provide the highest level of service or at least a service that's equal to your competitors because people will find you out very quickly. Um, business is based on value and you want to be exceeding the monetary amount your customers give you in the value that you return to them so service is everything it's going to impact the testimonials you get the referrals you get and how quickly your business will grow so you've really got to study all the time about being the best in your industry and providing the best possible service because that's going to impact how you're perceived in the marketplace the value that you're creating for your customers and how fast you're going to grow um, and another thing that you'll find as well is you're, if you're operating in a city it's the, it's the same people that are around year in year out um, I started out year one thinking oh there's just so many different businesses I'd never see the same person again and then you see kind of year two that it's the same businesses popping up over and over again and um, with Google and the search results and all that what I found is that the people that are most willing to listen are the ones that are always at the top that always have the best stuff already they're always willing to listen so you should be willing to listen don't be afraid of being sold to like I went to one networking event and the, the best thing that happened to me was that I was sold on another networking event and we went there and made great contacts five customers and just very good growth so that's the three points for this video um, it's harder to get established but the benefits that you get on the back end will far outweigh being employed um, in a regular job if you can stick with it keep pushing forward and always believe in yourself second point it's selling not operations so networking cold calls selling those um, physical letters and then the third point would be that you have to provide a level of service that is equal or greater than your competitors and you've got to exceed your customers expectations and provide more value to them than the monetary amount that they give you and with that you'll see your testimonials, your referrals and your business growing naturally. So that's it for today, thanks very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and if you'd like any other content made just leave a comment below and um, I'd love to hear from you, all comments and feedback is welcome, thanks very much.